Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Swiss Army Dan coming at you with another Swiss Army Knife video. Uh, today I want to discuss the Holy Trinity of Swiss Army Knives. And, um, you know, like cuisine has a Holy Trinity. Uh, I think the French call it mirepoix, something like that. And it's usually like carrots and onions and celery. You know, the Cajun combination is uh, green bell peppers and, and onions and celery. But for Victorinox Swiss Army knives, it's Tinkers, Spartans, and Compacts. And I'll tell you why. So, I think you can kind of base all Swiss Army knives around one of these models. Um, and they've been around pretty much, well, I'll get to that. Um, this one has been around pretty much since uh, the, the very beginning, 1902, I believe, uh, is when the, uh, the Spartans started, uh, even with uh, fiber scales instead of the wood. I think there's a 1903 advertisement that, that shows that. But anyway, it's not like the Celador. This, this was later. I don't have that date for you right now. But anyway, I digress. Uh, I'll, start, I'll start with the Spartan, so, since it was kind of the first to come along. And um, so with the Spartan, this is a 91 millimeter Spartan. Um, you get a large blade, a small blade, a can opener, three millimeter screwdriver. This is also useful for a lot of tasks. This little edge here, it's sharpened. Um, and you have a locking at 90 degree point screwdriver, cap lifter, wire stripper and some use the some people use this for light prying tasks as well um, on the back layer you have your corkscrew which you know people say you can uh, can help you uh, undo knots um, screw it in and kind of use it as a hook or you know to, to hang things on and of course to open wine there's probably more applications um, it's helped me like clean out um, a few different little areas that I couldn't get my fingers into. This also kind of helped me remove uh, troublesome wood when I'm, you know, carving stuff out. Um, and then you have this awl, uh, reamer punch with the sewing eye. And there's another video out there that's pretty cool that shows you how to use that sewing eye. Um, but it totally works in an emergency situation. So that's the Spartan. Um, the remarkable difference uh, between the Spartan and the Tinker is obviously this Phillips screwdriver you get. Now, um, I've done a little research, and this Phillips, they started making uh, Tinkers in 1952, and there was a square, squared off Phillips back here. Um, so that's, you know, the Phillips came around, I think it first got its, its big success in 1936 when... Um, the man, you know, who it's named after, you know, had success with uh, selling him to uh, Cadillac, and they put him in 1936 Cadillacs. Um, there was an earlier version of the Phillips that had a little square in it instead of the crisscross pattern. Um, I think it's Robertson is the last name on those, but they didn't do as well. So there's a little history lesson on the on the Phillips, but they started uh, showing up in Swiss Army Knives in 1952. Um, so that's the only difference between these two is corkscrew to Phillips. Spartan Tinker. So we've we've covered two of the Holy Trinity. Number three in the Holy Trinity, it's a little bit later in the timeline. Um, this guy didn't really show up until the, the early 80s. And when it did show up, he was an 84 millimeter, um, this size knife. And you can, you can see the length difference there. 91, 84 millimeter. Um, and this is the compact. And what makes the compact difference is it has this combo tool. So this combo tool didn't show up until 1982. And it was only on the 84 millimeter knives. Um, so instead of this opening layer of the uh, cap lifter screwdriver, can opener screwdriver, it puts it all into one with this. Uh, some people say, you know, a big drawback is this can opener screwdriver works with a lot of Phillips uh, screws so you don't even really end up needing this and a lot of people like putting a mini screwdriver back here 
um, like this combo tool has, I mean, like this uh, compact has. Um, so, you know, you get a little bit of added utility. And a lot of people don't like this because it can't get into, you know, uh, as many spots as, you know, an uh, end opening tool uh, would. But I won't get too far off on that. I'll just kind of stick to what the differences are. So anyway, this combo tool puts all those into one. Um, and it's a little less thick, but it still gets the jobs done. And I really like the combo tool. And I think I've said that in other videos. Um, but what's cool about the compact is it stays around that same width, maybe just a little bit wider, you know, or taller um, than, than your Spartan and Tinker. And the Spartan and Tinker are pretty much the same. That corkscrew might might come out just a little bit there, you know, another millimeter or two at the most. Um, the combo, I mean, the uh, the compact is even still a little bit thicker than the uh, than the Spartan, but not by much, not by much at all. Um, but what's cool about yeah this one is you get those scissors, the full size scissors, and um, a two layer knife. And now this is the only one, uh, only the 91 millimeter is available. Uh, they don't make the 91 millimeter scissors anymore. Apparently the machine broke at one point and it was not very cost effective to replace that. So they just uh, started making uh, only 91 millimeter scissors. And uh, when this one was introduced, I should say it was called the golfer. It wasn't called the compact and it didn't have this hook back here either. And you know, there's different variations of the golfer. Some of them have a divot repair tool here. Um, some of them might even have a little uh, single blade there. You know, I think the 60s golfers didn't have this combo tool, but a lot of times they'd have uh, just a single clip point blade there and it'd be 84 millimeters and it was called the golfer. Um, so yeah, I mean, I have the 84 millimeter counter counterpart to at least the Tinker and Spartan here. Um, and this is a Taurus, it's, it doesn't have the, uh, the scale tools on it, but it's the same as the Spartan, the same tool set, just in uh, 84 millimeters. And this is a little bit older one that has that clip point blade. Um, and it has, you know, a Swiss, I think it's a bank, a Swiss bank from, you know, back way back when, uh, inlay on there. And then this 84 millimeter uh, Tinker, it's called the Tinker Small. And it's got the squared old older style. I think uh, they stopped doing that in 80 uh, Phillips on it. And it's got the can key on it. So this is one of my favorite little small tinkers. Um, and then uh, I was just going to show, this is just the one layer a waiter that also has that, that combo tool. This is the closest thing I had to an 84 millimeter version of the compact. It just doesn't have the scissors on it. Um, but it's a waiter. Then also I have... You know, if you go onto Vic's website right now, you can get most of the, the knives in, with black scales. Um, and some in a, in a lot of different other cool scales like these, uh, like these wood fiber scales are kind of cool. I mean, they're hardwood scales, they're actual wood. Um, but yeah, here's, you know, here's a, a black compact and uh, black Spartan that I EDC. I like to, to EDC this one. And then uh, Black Tinker. These these guys are both brand new in the box. I'll probably keep them that way. I just kind of got them out to show you guys. Um, yeah, the black is a very popular and pretty widely available variation on these knives. Uh, so, yeah, those are the two-layer um, kind of holy trinity that you can almost base any Swiss Army knife around. Like the Huntsman is just like a Spartan that adds a saw and scissors right so you can just be like a start a spartan plus those tool those two tools and you know know what you're talking about um the climber is is just the spartan plus scissors you know for instance or if you had uh, a tinker plus scissors it's called a super tinker um i don't know of too many combo tool three layers other than the outdoorsman that i have as a metal file and it's a three layer uh, you know, 91 millimeter with a combo tool. There might be more out there that I just don't know of. So you guys put that in the comments if you know of any, like, you know, other uh, three, four. I guess there's the Yeoman and Scientist, and they both have the combo tool. And I think they might be three and four 
uh, layers respectively. But again, I don't have those and I don't see a lot of them, so I'm not an expert on those knives. Just kind of heard of them. But we're at the 10 minute mark. You guys be kind to each other. Swiss Army Dan's going to wrap it up here. Take care.